Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'll be talking about a laptop cooler. I've always wanted to check one out. This is my first laptop cooler I've ever covered on the channel. The first laptop cooler I've ever actually owned, actually. And thankfully, the maker of this particular cooler, Lano, reached out to me and sponsored this video. So I'm gonna get to how effective this particular laptop cooler is. But first, let's just talk about this build and the design. It is made of mostly plastic. You're getting the Lano logo on the front and it comes with this foam and it's meant to go right on over the laptop cooler. And, and the main reason for that is you want to create a seal around the actual cooler itself. So when this large, gigantic 14 centimeter fan is blowing cool air upwards, there's not much leakage throughout the sides. I would prefer there to be an adhesive layer at the back so it could just kind of stay put. Maybe you can just add that yourself, probably not the end of the world. But let me just take this off for a second so I can just give you a tour of the rest of the product. So you have like these fake ventilations at the back. It's just a sticker. And you have RGB here, and I'll turn that on to see how, what it looks like. And on the side, you, you get an AC port, which comes in the box, a USB Type-C cable, which also comes in the box. So you can plug that into your laptop, and then that gives you three additional USB Type-A ports. Really nice to have. So that's pretty much it for the rest of the design. There's just RGB running all the way throughout. And on the, on, on the front, you have all of your controls. And there's these two little levers here, which is kind of clever. Once your laptop is resting on this, you just pop these up and it serves as a stand to make sure it doesn't t topple over, which is actually a big fear of mine whenever I use any type of laptop stand in general. And speaking of laptop stand, at the back, you have these feet here which does allow it to be a stand. You're getting some rubber feet here, and then when this is done, you get two more rubber feet. So it helps keep it securely on the table. And this is something that's really cool too. So this here is a removable dust filter. So you can just, you can just like shake this off or dust this out. So it does provide some kind of protection to make sure dust doesn't go into these fans. And like I said, here's that large 14 centimeter fan that goes up to 2,800 RPM. So it's really powerful. And that's why that there is an AC adapter required to power this because this uses so much power that I don't think USB could handle it. So let's put this back on and let's power this up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my laptop on afterwards, but I just wanna kinda of go through the modes just so you can get an idea of how it works. So to turn it on, you press and hold the power button. This is what it looks like with the RGB on, and you can press the M button to go through different modes. I'm guessing that means different modes. And then this looks like it's a single zone, so you press it again and you can change the different colors. Yeah, so, 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 the, yeah, so this cycles between the different modes. I'm just gonna leave it on this mode for now because it looks kinda of cool. So as you can see, the entire back area lights up. Yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention is these fans are incredibly powerful. Just check this out here. Just going from 300 RPM all the way up to 2800, it, it really makes a difference. So you can really fine tune it to make it just right for you, whether you want to balance noise versus performance. But I will say though, once you put on a decent pair of headphones that actually does have some kind of noise isolation, even at 2800 RPM, you can probably get away with it. But like I said, my sweet spot was around like anywhere between like 800 to like 1200 to where I got up to maybe like 10, 15 degrees lower than just stock while able to drown out the noise with headphones. And I wanna mention that these fans are made out of a special metal and they're good to go for more than 50,000 hours. Okay, so what I wanna do is put my Titan 18 on this so you can get an idea of what it looks like. This foam gasket is doing a really good job of sealing in the air. I'm not really feeling much air leakage out through the sides. One thing I like about this is it increases the overall height of where my laptop is. It creates a more comfortable viewing experience because now the screen is closer to my eye level and the keyboard and typing on the keyboard isn't as uncomfortable as I thought it would be. Next, I wanna talk about the fan noise and this is something that Lano told me to make sure I mentioned that, hey, this gets a little bit loud. At 300 RPM, this 5.5 inch fan isn't too loud. It's fairly tolerable. And if the laptop fans were on, they would probably be around the same amount and you, you won't really be able to hear it. But as I start to increase it, it will get louder. 
and it can go up to like 65 decibels from what I was able to measure with my Apple Watch. So that gets pretty loud. I mean, the loudest laptop I've ever used was like 55 decibels. So this gets louder than a laptop. So I'm probably, I probably have to scream over this right now. So depending on your laptop, that's going to determine what RPM you need to run yours at. Thankfully, my Titan 18 has really good cooling, even though it gets to a really high power limit, both in terms of the GPU and the CPU. So speaking of that, let's talk about what I was able to get. All right, guys, so let's do some testing on the Lano laptop cooler. So unfortunately, every single laptop I have has really, really good thermals. I mean, fortunately for the laptop itself, but I'm not thermal throttling on the Alienware M16, the 2024 model, or my Titan 18, but that's fine. We'll still be able to showcase how good this laptop cooler works. So as you can see right now, the CPU and the GPU is running at 100%. You can see that the CPU is hovering anywhere in the high 70s or the low 80s. So that's really good for the CPU. And the GPU is sitting at 68. And right now the laptop cooler is off. So I'm going to turn it on. And right now I'm running at 300 RPM, which is the lowest setting. It is completely silent, um, well, rel relatively speaking to how loud the fans are in performance mode of the Alienware M16. So the temperatures are in the 80s. I'm gonna go up to 800. The fans are getting louder, but not too bad. It's still not too different than, than the actual laptop fans itself. Just like a heavier, whooshier sound because they are larger fans. But as you can see, the temperatures on the CPU went down 5 degrees and the GPU also went down too. So at just 800 RPM, it is working. And that could be the thing. If you're thermal throttling at like 95 to 100 degrees and there's a good chance that on your laptop you can just use 800 RPM, you'll be able to stop thermal throttling and you'll get better performance. So let's bring this up to 1200 RPM and it is getting louder. At this point, I might prefer to have some headphones on. So at 1200 RPM, I'm getting 71 on the CPU and 60 degrees on the GPU. Let's bring this up to 2000. And now it's getting even louder. At this point, I would require headphones to game comfortably with this. So at 2000 RPM, this particular laptop isn't really getting much additional benefit. I guess because the thermal is already so good on the Alienware M16, you might get more depending on how high your RPM is. So right now, there's not much of a difference here. So now I'm gonna crank it up to the full, which is 2800 RPM, and this is really loud. So now the GPU went down to 59 degrees Celsius and the CPU is pretty much the same as it's been since 800 RPM. All right, so modest improvements on the M16, but on the Titan, I went from like 98, 99. I was pretty much thermal throttling and they brought my temperatures down to 82 degrees. So yeah, it made a gigantic difference. I can imagine back when I was reviewing that Razer Blade 16, I no longer have that laptop anymore. If any of you guys follow me on Reddit, you might be aware of the story of what happened with that laptop. It's tragic, but I do know that when I had the Razer Blade 16, when I had it elevated, I got a 15% improvement in the CPU. So I bet with a laptop like that, you're actually going to get performance improvements with that device. What I don't recommend this for is Macs because on the MacBooks, their intakes are on the sides. So at the back, it's just gonna be blowing air into the back of the laptop. It's not gonna do anything at all. And also most 14 inch gaming laptops will not fit on this because of how small it is. What ends up happening is this gasket's not able to fully seal it and you get a lot of leakage throughout the sides and just based off of my performance testing with this particular G14, this is the 2024 model, I was not seeing any improvement in benchmarks. So you will need a 16 inch laptop or higher, but if you are concerned about thermals and you just wanna bring down your temperatures, there's nothing else that could give you those temperature reductions out there except for something, except for something like this. If you're playing Overwatch, which I do play a lot of, or CSGO, or any CPU-bound game, or even Cyberpunk now, and if you're noticing that your CPU is always in the high 90s or higher, this laptop cooler will actually improve your performance. So yeah, give it a shot. I have links to buy down below because this is a sponsored video. 
I don't benefit from these links. This is just the manufacturer's link that they told me to use. And it just lets them know that you clicked on the link because of me and maybe in the future they might send me more products, but I'm not financially benefiting by you buying from these links. So whether that makes a difference or not, if you guys are interested in this laptop cooler, I like it. It works as intended. You just have to wear headphones if you're gonna go over like eight or 900 RPM. But all right, that'll do it. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.